So the 70s was a crazy time for television. I did two episodes of Starsky and Hutch, which were entitled The Plague, Part 1, and The Plague, Part 2. In this show, I play this young kid whose mom rents out a room. I'd have one to Canada, but he never came back. I'm sorry. Would you like to see your room? Sure. But she rents out a room not to a regular person, but to an assassin, played by the great Alex Rocco, Mo Green from The Godfather. But wait, there's more. He's not just an assassin, he's an assassin who has the bubonic plague. <laughs> Yes, that's right. On Starsky and Hutch, there's an assassin, he has the plague, and he's renting a room from my mom. Well, I become friends with this lonely assassin, and guess what? I get bubonic plague. So Starsky and Hutch go after the bad guys because they want to right the wrong of this kid getting this bubonic plague. Not only did I not know who Alex Rocco was at the time, otherwise I would have lost it because I'm now a huge fan of The Godfather and can't believe that I actually have scenes with Mo Green. But I couldn't wait to meet Starsky and Hutch. I was so excited. Well, the day comes when we're doing the scene in the hospital. Paul Michael Glazier is there. He's there. I'm there. We're going to work together. It's going to be great. Well, back in the 70s, kids were kind of more like props than they were real people. So they brought me in at the very last minute. I did my rehearsals. They put me into the hospital bed. They told me, okay, you're in a coma because you've got bubonic plague. Go ahead, close your eyes, kid. So I close my eyes. Then they bring Paul Michael Glazier in. He does the scene. Scene goes great. They yell cut. He leaves. I never get to meet Paul Michael Glazier. It destroyed me. I was like feet away from him, yet I never got a chance to meet him. So happily, I survived getting the bubonic plague from Mo Green from The Godfather. But sadly, I never got to meet Paul Michael Glazier.